All right, hopefully this is working. I'm going to make sure that I'm getting audio. I haven't done a live stream in a minute. So, forgive me. And I forgot to change the thumbnail, so whatever. Just want to make sure I can hear myself. Testing, testing. Yep, I can hear it all right. So, I uh, uploaded a Lawrence Fishburne video today using a 512 resolution model I've been screwing around with to make that uh, the Matrix 4 and I'm also using him I'm going to work on one uh, there's an acapella group called Pentatonics that one of the women I work with asked me to to import some Matrix characters into one of their uh, one of their songs they do like a, the Sugar Pump Fairies and everybody's dressed kind of like Matrix characters anyway so it'll be kind of cool I'm going to put Fishburne in there and Keanu and maybe some other characters at least those two I don't know if I'll, it's a five person group I don't know if I want to try to do five full deep fake matrix characters because I'd have to do them all from scratch other than Lawrence who've already got done pretty much ready to use so anyways uh, I decided to export that 512 resolution model as um as a DFM file and see how it works in deep face live and it's working pretty good uh but it's very much there's a lot more input lag so right now you can see of course I'm not using um, a model and I'll go ahead and try enabling Kim Jerry which is of course Jim Carrey so give that a second here I just uh, downloaded the latest version of deep face live here the other day so there's gonna be some time delay on downloading a couple of these models I should have done that ahead of time but wasn't thinking it's almost done anyway I'm still working on uh, improving my Arnold Schwarzenegger live model, but uh, give this a second here, and let me change. Yeah, so that you can see. I mean, the color maybe not so great for some reason. I don't know. That's even worse. Whatever. So that's that's Jim Carrey. You know, it's a little bit of a color issue. Maybe the lighting in here is the problem or whatever, but. It's kind of got an orange tint to it, but at least, you know, it works fine. There's really no lag, no input lag or the heck, you know. Um, I don't, one thing I noticed is uh, the 12900K, I think, is having a pretty good impact here. I'm going to change that to 720p on the camera source before. Like, I really couldn't do that. And here, give it a second. Yeah, back up to 30 frames a second. Like, it just sits pretty consistently at 30. So I can use a higher resolution camera setting and still keep a good frame rate so that looks actually pretty good considering pretty sharp now that's Jim so I'm gonna go ahead and enable uh, Lawrence so there's a lot of input lag on this or more anyway so hold on a second and so you can see definitely slower to re I mean I'm, I don't know how all this translates to the video but um, like it's much slower to react and it's because it's higher resolution now I can set it to run at 224 and that's probably why it still works in an acceptable frame rate it's still getting a little over 20 frames per second the bottom teeth is where I'm having a problem with Lawrence um, I just went through and did like an enhancement sharpening software on all my Lawrence images and now I'm continuing to train it uh, yeah. So it ain't perfect, but um, you could probably use it as long as you didn't do a lot of ex you know extraneous like moving around and like crazy facial expressions. Like you can you can do some stuff, but you just can't you know ah you know. And I don't get why because I've got plenty of uh, plenty of stuff from Lawrence where he's doing facial expressions like that. It's like it's just not learning it that well. Uh, like I said, the bottom teeth it's struggling with. The top teeth have been fine, but the bottom teeth, for some reason, are blurry. Uh, it's like the bottom lip and teeth and everything. Like it's, I don't know. And this is at about one and a half million iterations of training. Um, oh, how many movies did I use for the source? For this character, for Lawrence, I used three. I did Matrix 1, Matrix 2, and Event Horizon. Um, I've got all the you know the Blu-rays and stuff for most of that stuff. And Event Horizon, I got on Amazon Prime. They have a 4K version of it on there. And then I used 
like OBS to capture that like the scenes that I wanted to get his source material and then like I said today I just ran it all through uh, the DeepFace Lab sharpening utility and it did improve everything like a bit so um, going forward hopefully my next result will be a bit better like I said I'm going to do that pentatonics video uh, I want to put him in Blade as Wesley Snipes I want to do um, Demolition Man again with Wesley Snipes but replace him with Lawrence you can see it, it really looks pretty good, other than, of course, Lawrence is a man of darker skin tone than myself, and there's probably only so much the the color transfer mode can really correct here. But it turned out pretty good. Um, like I say, if I train this another million or something like that, which over the course of time of using it in other videos, I'm going to wait probably to upload anything else until I get better results with the lower teeth. I don't know why, other than sort of the way he talks, you don't see his bottom teeth that much. That's a problem with a lot of these. Like Christian Bale, I had that problem to some degree too, where most of the time you just see the person's upper teeth and not the lower teeth. It's just they don't speak with their mouth open that, that wide. So, anyways, not a long video. Uh, Medic, thanks for dropping in. Thanks for saying, leaving a comment. Um, I guess if you have any other questions, ask them in the comment section below because there's really not much else to go over in this video. I just wanted to show that this was working reasonably well. Um, I do want to start getting to the point where I can like live stream some games or other stuff as Arnold because um, he's the one I can do the best voice. Or I could do Gollum, you know, and maybe I could even try like a full head model. This does have a head mode. I don't think I've seen anybody try a Deep Face Live full head model, so that'd be another one to try. And I've got a pretty good collection of Gollum Ill images from, you know, all the different Hobbit and Lord of the Rings films, so I could make that if I wanted to. But uh, that said, if anybody has any other questions or wants to leave a comment, please do so in the comment section below. Uh, consider giving the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Appreciate you guys watching. Talk to you guys again here real soon. Later.